In the heart of a bustling city, there stood a charming little bookstore called Whimsy Tales, owned by the warm and whimsical Mrs. Thistlewood. It was a haven for children and adults alike who cherished the magic of stories. But what made Whimsy Tales truly special was its enchanting feature. Every evening, the books in the store came to life, transforming bedtime stories into animated adventures that filled dreams with wonder and delight. One crisp autumn evening, the air was filled with the scent of falling leaves and the promise of a new story. The children of the neighborhood, bundled up in cozy pajamas and carrying their favorite stuffed animals, gathered at Whimsy Tales. Mrs. Thistlewood, with her silver spectacles and kind eyes, greeted each child with a warm hug and a promise of an unforgettable adventure. As the clock struck seven, the children settled on soft, oversized cushions around the grand fireplace. Mrs. Thistlewood took her place in a plush armchair and old leather-bound book resting on her lap. With a gentle smile, she opened the book and began to read, her voice soothing and filled with magic. Once upon a time, in the enchanted village of Snuggleton, there lived a little bear named Benny. Benny was known for his love of bedtime stories and his talent for making every night special with his animated tales. Each evening, the animals of Snuggleton would gather in Benny's cozy burrow, snuggling up in soft blankets, ready to be transported to a world of dreams. One starry night, as Benny prepared for another story session, he discovered a dusty old book hidden behind his favorite chair. Intrigued, he opened it and found that it was filled with beautiful illustrations that seemed to shimmer with life. Benny knew this was no ordinary book, it was a magical book that could bring stories to life. Excited to share his discovery, Benny invited all his friends to join him for a special story time. As the animals gathered, Benny opened the magical book and began to read. In a land far away, Benny read, there was a kingdom where the night sky was filled with dancing stars, and the moon smiled down on the land, casting a gentle glow. In this kingdom lived a little dragon named Draco, who had the the power to bring dreams to life with his magical breath. As Benny read, the illustrations in the book began to move. The children in Missus Thistlewood's bookstore watched in awe as the characters sprang to life on the pages, their vibrant colors and lively movements captivating their imaginations. Draco the dragon, with his shimmering scales and friendly smile, flew out of the book and hovered above the children, filling the room with a soft, warm glow. Draco loved to visit the children of the kingdom, breathing out beautiful dreams that floated through through the air like sparkling bubbles, Benny continued. One night, he heard a cry from the village below. A little girl named Lily was having trouble sleeping. Her dreams were filled with shadows, and she was afraid of the dark. Draco flew down to Lily's window and gently whispered, Don't be afraid, little one. I will bring you the most wonderful dreams. With a puff of his magical breath, Draco filled Lily's room with glowing bubbles that shimmered with scenes of happy adventures and joyful memories. As the bubbles touched her, Lily's fears melted away and she drifted into a peaceful, enchanted sleep. As Benny read on, the children at Whimsy Tales could see the bubbles floating around them, each one containing a tiny, animated scene of wonder. They reached out to touch them, giggling as the bubbles popped, releasing a burst of twinkling lights. But one night, Benny continued, the shadows grew stronger, threatening to overtake the kingdom's dreams. Draco knew he needed help. He called upon his friends, the wise owl, Oliver, the playful fox, Fiona, and the gentle deer, Delilah, to join him in his quest to bring back the light. The children watched as the animated characters embarked on their adventure, flying through starry skies and exploring magical forests. Together, Draco and his friends faced challenges and solved puzzles, their bravery and friendship lighting the way. In the final scene, Draco and his friends confronted the source of the shadows, a lonely, misunderstood creature named Gloom, who only wanted to be seen and loved. With kindness and compassion, Draco and his friends invited Gloom to join them, showing him that he could be a part of their world of light and dreams. As the story concluded, the magical book closed, and the animated characters slowly faded, leaving the children with a warm, glowing feeling inside. Mrs. Thistlewood smiled at the sleepy faces around her. Remember, my dear ones, she said softly, no matter how dark the night may seem, 
there is always light to be found in dreams. With kindness, courage, and a little bit of magic, you can chase away any shadow. The children, now drowsy and content, gave Mrs. Thistlewood hugs and thanked her for the wonderful story. They made their way home, their hearts filled with the promise of sweet dreams and the warmth of sleepy snuggles animated bedtime tales. And so, the tradition continued at Whimsy Tales, where every night was a journey into a world of imagination and wonder, ensuring that each child went to bed with a smile and a heart full of magical dreams.